Welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today, I am super excited. I've got a new gas can, and I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I never could really find one uh, in the local area, or even in the United States. And I actually ended up, I was like, well, you know what, I'm just going to pull the trigger on it. I'm going to order one. And uh, this one actually, I guess, came out of... Uh, came out of the UK but surprisingly it actually only took me about nine days to get it so uh, I was really happy with that the uh, the estimated shipping time was like 15 to 30 days and whenever I got it in nine yeah I mean that was that was great so anyways we're gonna take a look at this thing today and kind of see uh, what and all it's about and this can is going to replace this and this and having to have two separate ones all the time. With me, I have a five gallon can and I actually was filling my one gallon can in order to make it more transportable. Like if I'm carried on the tractor or on the four wheeler or something like that, then this is real easy to move around and I work out of a five gallon can all the time into this. But like I say, this is gonna replace the two cans and have them right here with one. So anytime I go to get my chainsaw, this is my next thing and I'll have gas and oil both and don't have to worry about trying to figure out where one or the other's at. So I'm super excited about this. So this thing actually comes with two nozzles. One for the gas, which you can see there's a little gas sign right here. And this one has the bar oil sign and it's one of the quick fill. And it looks like maybe uh, it's just an optional thing. They just give you a couple different spouts in case you decide you don't want to use the quick or the spill proof spout then they give you another one to put on it actually has a vent built into it so that you know as you go to pour it then your oil it and take them forever to come out it actually vents itself and will come right out we're going to try both spouts with the uh the spill proof spouts on them and we're going to see how it does with gas and oil both it's a little cold out today, so the oil may have a little trouble flowing, but we're going to try it anyways. There's with both spouts, and in order to get these spouts to work, you've got to push down on the spout. as Like when you put it down in your fuel tank, then you'll push it down against your machines or against your saw. So we're going to try this thing out on our Echo CS590. And uh, I'll try to get you up here pretty close to this so that you can uh, see whether this thing actually ends up being spill proof or not. But Now that is cool. Uh, it's probably a little hard to see on the video, um, but now the oil through that no spill spout, it's slow coming out. What I'm gonna show you is a sped up version of filling the oil, but I'll, you know, the, the gas is actually in real time. But the oil, I mean, you gotta stand there for probably a minute or so when it's this cold because that oil, that that bar and chain oil is just so thick and tacky that it, it does take it a minute to run in there, but it does fill up and it will not overflow or spill out or anything. It is, it's crazy. And I actually thought that the ends of this had to seal up on your gas tank, uh, but that's not it at all. It shuts off when it touches the end of the nozzle. So there's just, a, you know, a little bit under where your cap is that it fills up to. So it leaves just a little bit of space, but you won't have it trying to overflow out of your spout or out of your tank. And it doesn't matter how, whether you've got it lined up perfect over the hole or not. Uh, it's just, it's really cool. I mean, and it's completely spill proof. It stops pouring and you just lift it off. There's no drips, there's no nothing. I mean, I, I can't even explain how happy I am 
with the way this thing works. And I'm gonna empty the gas out of my chainsaw and, and fill it up again. Because... And the main thing is being able to put down pressure on the saw, so it does need to be sitting somewhere to where it won't move. So you can actually, though, hold the container with one hand and stabilize your saw with the other and then just push it in. You can hear it filling. It stops and then you just lift it off. No spills, no mess. And you can see right here the fuel is up to that mark was just just a little bit below the bottom of the tank but that thing shuts off there's no spill there's a couple more things i want to show you real quick on this one it does have the sight window through here so you can see how much oil you have in your container and it also has it on this side so you can see how much gas you've got in there uh, also, it has a place for a flat file and a round file. And then on this side, it has a little opening that says you can put chains and that kind of stuff in there. So, in conclusion, though, on this gas can and oil can combo, this is like one of the best things that could happen to chainsaw. And it's such a simple thing. It's like, why in the world didn't somebody come out with a good gas and oil can? years ago if i didn't go over everything in this video feel free to leave a comment ask me questions about it this thing is no guessing you put the spout in there it fills up and it kicks off by itself like a pump whenever you're filling up your car or something and you just pull it away it seals up there's no drips there's no leaks it's the coolest gas can that i've ever had and you know it it just works and that's that's the coolest thing about it is because you've bought something and it does exactly what it's supposed to do not but if you'd like to pick one of these up make sure you go down into the description i'll put a link down there for my amazon affiliate link you know i do get a small percentage off of that but you still pay the same price as what it normally is on amazon uh, it just goes in to help support the channel that way i can bring more cool products and stuff to you as you know doing a review or putting it in real world situations because this isn't something i'm going to use one time or just do a review on and then be done with it. This is something I'm going to use from now on. Also, if you know anybody that's into chainsaws or any of that kind of stuff and are frequently having to fill these small power equipment and that kind of stuff, make sure you share this video with them because this is a really cool item. If you like videos like this, click that thumbs up button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.